What is the Sahara? When we think of the Sahara, we think of a giant desert and the only mode of transportation is a camel. So why did a desert this big form in the continent of Africa? Has this place always been a desert? As you could see from the map, the entire north part of Africa is a desert. After Antarctica, the biggest desert in the world is the Sahara. But you might not believe this. This desert is pretty new, and that's because scientists believe around 6,000 years ago, this place wasn't a desert, but a forest. A lot of people lived in this forest with a bunch of animals. But it's very weird that in a land that was this green, not only is there no more animals, but there's no more people in that area. At that time, not only was the Nile River found, but there were other huge rivers as well. There was a giant called the Taman Rasid, which came from the Atlas Mountains on the north part of the Sahara, and the river would flow all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. This giant river had parts where the width was miles long. Around 5,000 years ago, this giant river dries out. In the year 2015, with the satellite images that NASA took, it showed that recently there were giant rivers and bodies of water in the Sahara. And when we say recent, it's about 5,000 years ago. In the middle of the Sahara, there was a giant lake called the Mega Chad. It's hard to believe that in the middle of all this dry land, there was a giant lake. Lake Mega Chad was about 388,500 square kilometers. And do you know what that means? That means it was bigger than the Caspian Sea, the biggest lake in the world. This huge lake slowly dried out and after a few hundred years, it basically vanished. But it left a signature, and it's obvious that there was a giant lake in the middle of the Sahara. So all these greens, and all these bodies of water, a giant lake, what happened to them, and why did they all dry out? There are some theories about this. A geologist by the name of David Wright says that different animals were responsible for this. This place was so green that it attracted a lot of animals, especially cows, sheep, and goats. At that time, there wasn't a lot of predators, and that made the population of these animals explode. And obviously, the humans couldn't really control their population either. And that is why their population grew exponentially. And that basically caused the whole entire forest to get eaten. When a grassland becomes dirt, it causes that part of the land to get warmer. And that causes an area to get hotter. You could say the land getting hotter is like cancer. And it basically slowly affects the whole entire area and the population of the animals didn't help either because they would speed up the killing of the plants. Scientists believe in a short period of time, like around 100 years, this place that used to be a forest became a hot desert. And it became a desert that's bigger than continental USA. But this is not the only theory about this situation. Some scientists believe that it wasn't the animal's fault, but it was the axis of the planet. The scientists believe that this happens once every 20,000 years, and they believe every 20,000 years, we have a desert and a jungle. And that is why they believe the axis of the earth was responsible, not the animals eating all the greens. So we can be hopeful that this place is gonna be green again, but we have to wait 10 to 15,000 years.
The Sahara is a very mysterious place, and that is why they're still studying it. Another belief is that around the Mesozoic era, where the dinosaurs used to live, the Sahara was under the ocean because they found whale fossils in this land. The whale fossils are the biggest they found, but there's also fossils of fishes that have been extinct around the same era. But there are other deserts that have fish fossils as well, so it's not only the Sahara. Another cool thing found in the Sahara are dinosaur fossils. Specifically, a dinosaur called the sauropod. This was a giant dinosaur that had a length of 32 meters and it weighed around 60 tons. The fossil of this dinosaur was also found in Europe. So we could say back then, the Sahara was connected to Europe. And it's good to know that until 2018, scientists believed that each continent had different dinosaurs. But in the year 2018, they found out that the African dinosaurs were very similar to the European ones. There have been a lot of strange things founded in the Sahara, but one of the weirdest things is in Mauritania. This is called the Eye of the Sahara. And why was it named that? Because it looks like an eye. It's a bunch of rings that get smaller and smaller. The diameter of the Eye of the Desert is around 50 kilometers. You have to know that you could only see this from space. If you're in Mauritania, you really can't see it. And the first time we've seen this was with the help of Gemini 4 in the year 1965. After they found this, they began to study on where this came from. How are these rings so uniform and how they were created? At first, they believed that an asteroid caused this. But they very quickly debunked that, because an asteroid does not cause rings like that. But it's good to know that conspiracy theories do not sit back on these topics, and they start creating. One of them suggests that the aliens have access to the center of the Earth from here. Another person says that this place is the door to the Atlantis, and it's hidden from us. But there's a lot of other theories as well. From the year 1965, there has been a lot of theories on what happened here, but nobody's actually sure what it is. How was it formed? We really can't say because it's so uniform, and that is why this is the strangest thing in the Sahara. There's another weird thing about the Sahara, and they're still trying to figure that out as well. And that is the army of the Persian Empire, where 15,000 men go to Libya. But in the middle of the way, there is a sandstorm, and they all get lost in the Sahara. A lot of small things have been found, like necklaces, earrings, and different tools that they were using. But there's a lot more things that are missing, and they're not really sure where they're hidden. But the weirdest thing is for sure the Eye of the Sahara. And please leave a comment on what you think it is.